to throw for the ball. Well, what a fascinating semi-final lineup we've got for you to start this week of action here at Barnsley Metrodome. In the other half of the draw on the other streaming board, Paul Nicholson will be talking you through Dave Chisnell and Adrian Lewis. Two guys looking to get back into the winner's circle after a couple of years away. But they are two of the most prolific title winners that the PDC has ever seen, those two. One of those will make the final. Here... We have an all-Belgian affair. It is perhaps no surprise to see Dimitri Vandenberg in the semi-finals of a ranking event nowadays, but it has been an awful long time since we've seen Kim the Hurricane Hybrex competing Dimitri to win a PDC title at the serious end of ranking events. I'm Dan Dawson. Chris Murphy is sat alongside me for the semi-finals. It is the Dreammaker and the Hurricane, two very, very close friends who right now are going head-to-head. -head. 91. Well, let's hope it's a, a brilliant Belgian battle. I thought you were going to do the sort of two very close friends on the Ockham. Commentated on by two people yeah. who despise each other. I thought that was taken as red. 130. Two in the red from Hybrex to start the match. Saying so nothing at all on that. But if Dimitri Vandenberg carries on playing at the same level that he has been today, I can't see anybody beating him, particularly the way he played in that quarter-final match against Rob Cross, averaging 110, just in every single leg. The high breaks that Dimitri got to a finish first, yeah, rather, he wasn't giving Cross a chance. Well, Dimitri, there's only five players averaging more than him on the Players' Championship Series this year, but today it has been special. He is averaging more, or well, he's almost 104 for the day. And there's only there's one performance against Vincent van der Voort where he's taken to a last leg decider. He's averaged 98. It's a good performance. But all of the other ones are minimum 104 average stuff. That is incredible. To play that well for that long. We are now 5 o'clock nearly. We started at 12. We'll have been here two or three hours before practising. It is a long day to maintain this sort of standard. And the... 96. Format gets longer, as those of you who've been watching us here on PDC TV for a while now will be familiar with. Ibrex just finding the wrong treble there, was hoping to hit treble 14. Yeah, the semi finals are a race to seven, the final. 100. His first two eight. But this would hurt, I think this would hurt Ibrex already, even though it would only be a hold of throw for Vandenberg. A big ton topping checkout after. He'd thrown a dart in the wrong bed. Could really be an early jab to the chin. Game shot. Take that, Kim. 1-0 to Dimitri Vandenberg. It's fair to say, leading up to today, Dimitri has not enjoyed a good few weeks. He was spectacular at the world match play, going all the way to the final. Unfortunately for Dimitri, I don't think anybody was beating Peter Wright in the mood he was in at the Winter Gardens. Since then, not really seen the same sort of stuff from Dimitri. High-profile defeat to Fallon Sherrick when he was in complete control of that game in the World Series. He is not been pulling up any trees in the Pro Tour action we've seen. Didn't qualify for either of the Euro Tours, so wasn't at the European Championship. We look at the four players in the semi-finals, as you said, not a surprise to see Vandenberg here. He probably would have to make him favourite from those four to take the title. And it's interesting, nice isn't it, playing against the man who used to be his captain at the World Cup. The kind of changing of the, the pecking order in Belgian darts. Well, it, it seems a little ironic to me that we are seeing our first all-Belgian semi-final in a ranking event for eight years when Kim played his brother Ronnie, as he now looks at Bull. Oh, lovely stuff from Kim Hybrex. Bullseye finish for a 12 darter to level the game at one apiece. He started absolutely fantastically, Kim Hybrex. But he's been playing some decent stuff, Kim. This year, I mean, he's wow. he's averaging 93. I mean, it's pretty much what he's been doing today. But it's, it's in the sort of it's 42nd in the list of averages. That's pretty good. But it's quite a, kind of ironic that we're seeing this all-Belgian semi-final 
in the one year that the Belgians have been unable to reach the quarterfinal of the World Cup together. These two got knocked out early of that tournament, first time that's ever happened. 121. Paul Nicholson is 100. talking viewers through the other semi-final over on streaming board one between Chisnell and Lewis. It's certainly going to be a big sort of comeback day for sort of Dave Chisnell, maybe not so much. He's always 100. kind of there or there about enough over the course of any given season. Certainly for Lewis and Hybrex, it's a big opportunity to spark something. 100 to re-announce themselves as premier players in the world of darts. Well, Adrian Lewis, absolutely. As Vandenberg cannot find another treble 20 that would have given him a dart for the leg, but puts a big old dent in it. Ninety-six. So back he comes. Looking to edge ahead of his old teammate on double 16. Game shot. And in it goes. The ninth meeting between the pair. It's four apiece in the head to head. They've actually played together six times mm -hmm. and against each other now nine. 180. Speaking of nine, we've had two perfect legs today. One in the very first match of the day, Nathan Aspinall in defeat to Keegan Brown. 140. And one from Callan Rids in defeat to Lewis. So my advice, Kim, is don't hit a nine. He's taken that on board. Good man. 58. When he was in his darting heyday, Hybrex had that fabulous nine dart finish at the Grand Slam against Michael Van Gerwen in one of the best performances I think anyone's ever seen given the standard MVG was producing back then yeah I mean he won a long format game first to 16 I think wasn't it with 105 average hitting a nine dart on the way he's a two time Premier League player Kim Highbrakes. This, this is a man who's, who's made major finals he is a a serious serious talent and he's slipped away over the last few years injury has played a part but that's real pressure from Dimitri Vandenberg. Can Hybrex find another finish? It might be another on the bullseye. It's going to have to be from now. It is the bullseye. Pinned it once. Can he pin it again? 98. It wasn't far away. I'm sure you could hear the little click off the bull ring. Vandenberg will leave... His most trusted double once again. And that's why it's his most trusted. And it gets him a break of throw and a two-leg cushion. Well, Kim Hybrex finds himself 3-1 down despite averaging 112 right now. Chuckling because we've, we've seen a lot of that today, haven't we? Van Gerwen going out of 105 average for the day. 107 in the match he lost in against Ryan Searle. Aspinall with 113 average in that match I mentioned against Keegan Brown. Chris Doby ridiculously found himself 3-0 down to Dimitri Vandenberg despite having hit seven 180s in the first three and a half legs of that game. I wonder if Bobby George was watching. Sure, he'd have something to say. Can't quite put my finger on it right now. 137. 85. Well, we mentioned the head to head record and, and how these, this pair have really kind of passed each other in terms of career curves in recent years. But you might think that Vandenberg had had the better of the, the most recent 91. meetings, but he hasn't. He's lost the last two to Kim Hybrex, one of them this year. And there's no doubt that, that Dimitri Vandenberg has massively improved his floor form. He's picked up his first floor title, of course. 100. And he's regularly putting in the sort of displays that we're seeing here. But he's still not the sort of 
title hoover on the floor that you know somebody like Ratajski is we're not seeing him making lots of semis and lots of finals when he's good he's very very good and he can win can find himself in finals but I mean Kim was a bit like that in floor tournaments he's got four titles two of them on the Euro Tour he's, he's much more proficient in big stage darts Kim Ibrex than he is than he ever has been in these events well, it'd be bull to leave double 16 this time there's the bull and once again, there is a double 16. It must look enormous to Dimitri Vandenberg, who now leads by four legs to one. Well, I wasn't going to mention it, but I may as well, seeing as it's, uh, everybody loves Ronnie Hybrex. But when Ronnie and Kim did meet in the only other all-Belgian semi-final I can find on record in PDC Darts, 140. it was Ronnie who won it. And he averaged 107 <laughs> against his own brother. Now, Dimmy, who considers Kim a sort of mentor and did for many years, he's currently averaging 112 against him. So Kim needs to stop playing good friends and family in semi-finals. That's all I can say. Who needs enemies? 57. So Vandenberg got himself in this kind of position against Rob Cross in the quarterfinal and never let up. Now, there has been a bit of a break since then. But you can see Dimitri just trying everything to maintain his focus, to keep his concentration. Tries to get in that zone and stay there, does Dimitri Vandenberg. Well, he, I know he's only come away with 60 there, but he, he looks good. He looks better than he's looked since the match play, I think. It's, he's, he's been lacking something over recent weeks. 60. Do you think perhaps one of the reasons that Hybrex hasn't flourished on the floor as much as he has on the stage is down to the fact that he is one of those players who needs a bit of aggression in his game and it's difficult to do that sometimes whether it's aggression i don't know or just adrenaline or something i mean you see him trying to keep calm when he's playing on the stage but well treble 18 for double he could go ball tops well he did go for the ball but didn't really get close to it and this is this is makeable. It's big, but it's makeable. And what's at the end of it, if he does make it, is that double 16 again. Because if he hits this, of course, he will hit that. Kim might be feeling exactly that. What is at the end of this? 5-1 is at the end of this. Because Dimitri Vandenberg is rampant against his countryman and former mentor. It is 5-1 in a race to seven. He is averaging 110. And Dimmy is closing in on a spot in the final. Fifty-seven. Hit double 16 to win four of the five legs in this match. Four times on the spin. He's nailed that target. And he hasn't missed a single dart at 59. double in the entire match. Steady stuff. 59. You don't need to be shouting and screaming when the darts are doing that for you. That aggression 60. that you're on about. He does that by just averaging 110. That is pretty aggressive stuff. During the quarterfinal match against Rob Cross, Vandenberg did let out a little bit of aggression after one finish, and he, he offered a punch in the air, but he curtailed it so severely that I don't think even the air would have moved. <laughs> 140. Maybe Hybrex does need something to try and spark himself. He's playing well. He's, he's been good. I mean, he's not had any top-level performances today. They've all been... Every single average has been in the 90s. The low to mid-90s. 96. He's beaten Mickey Mansell, Martin Schindler, Keegan Brown, Gabriel Clemens, Alan Tavern. That's a good collection of names and some decent informed players there. 
one. But he, if you're going to win these titles, you're probably going to need one standout display to take care of somebody who's you know a really big name or in really great form. Dimitri Vandenberg is a huge name in darts right now, and it's going to take something enormous to stop him here, by the looks of it. Well, finally, Hybrex will get another go at double. You get two darts at double eight, sure. and he only needs one. Kim Hybrex, as we were just saying, not doing an awful lot wrong in this match. Hadn't had a dart at double since I think the fourth leg when he missed that one at the bullseye. Well, I don't think we've seen a single leg go longer than 15 darts in this game. It has been very, very neat and tidy stuff. We've seen a nice mix of big scores, a couple of big checkouts, some clinical finishing from the pair of them. 74. Well, Adrian Lewis and Dave Chisnell tied at three apiece in the other semi-final. Won't see a better finish today, will you, Dan, than that 167 from Chisnell that we had here about half an hour ago? No, spectacular stuff from Chizzy. And who knows, it may be the crucial moment in today. If Dave Chisnell picks up yet another title, I think it might be 16th in PDC darts. That would be my guess without confirming it. But if he is to pick that up later on today to celebrate the birth of his new baby, then that 167 will come down to be the, the pivotal moment of the day, potentially. And that is what they call pressure. Absolutely. Capital P on that one. And Vandenberg might 96. land another checkout ending on double 16. Oh. Well, the chance disappears, and Kim Hybrex will have a look at that 74. And will the trend continue of us not seeing legs go longer than five visits to the board? 13 and ball. Okay, double 12 it is. This time it's Kim who goes through the old dimmy routine of stopping and pausing and trying to compose himself. 62. Doesn't work. So for another break and to move within one, it's double four. Well, a triple long pause from Vandenberg. He thinks this is a big moment. Good job that he stayed outside. That, that was closer yeah. to the 13, but he has found the double. And the dream maker, Dimitri Vandenberg, is blowing away the hurricane here. Well, the miss at double four. He might have been a little worried because he, you rightly said, Murphy, nearly bust that. 100. It is the only dart at double that Dimitri Vandenberg has missed in this entire match. But even when he misses, the very next one, he pins. 58. It is more top quality stuff. And this could be, incredibly, for the fifth time in six games today, Dimitri Vandenberg might average in excess of 104. 134. Doby, Gilding, Koltsov, and Rob Cross. None of them could win more than two legs against him. And Kim Hybrex is struggling to win more than two legs against him here. Yeah, he's almost there. Vandenberg, Adrian Lewis has put his foot down as well against Dave Chisnell. Now leads that one 5-3. Just trying to rack my brains. Did Chisnell and Lewis once play World Cup together as well? And we've got two pairs of teammates I think, in the I think you might be right yeah I think you might be right we've already seen this once from Dimitri Vandenberg we are not going to see it for a second time but he is oh <laughs> look at that going to set it up on the double 16 with two bullseyes to leave a double that he has hit four times out of four so far in this semi-final 
It has been deadly doubling from Dimitri. A rare trip to double eight. And in the end, the Hurricane, Kim Hybrex, is blown away by his Belgian buddy, Dimitri Vandenberg, winning 7-2.